Today, we explore Kamo Oalawa, often dubbed Earth's second moon. This intriguing celestial body, officially known as 469219 Kamo Oalewa, was first spotted by astronomers in 2016. Unlike the moon that brightly adorns our night sky, Kamo Oalewa is classified as a quasi satellite of Earth. This means it shares a similar orbital path with our planet, making it appear as a constant celestial companion, though it is not gravitationally bound to Earth like our moon. Kamo Oalewa measures roughly between 130 to 330 feet in width, putting it in the same size league as the Statue of Liberty. Imagine this rocky body floating silently in space, its dimensions echoing those of one of humanity's most iconic monuments. For a deeper dive into the origins and nature of Kamo Oalewa, Jamie Carter's recent piece in Forbes provides a compelling read. Carter details how astronomers used advanced computer modeling to trace Kamo Oalewa's origins back to the moon specifically to a violent event that created the Giordano Bruno crater. This fascinating article, along with others, can be found linked in our video description. We highly encourage you to visit these links, for the full articles and their illustrations. Is Kamo Oalewa truly a moon, or is there more to this celestial story? How did Kamo Oalewa come to orbit our planet? Imagine a colossal impact on the far side of the moon, powerful enough to send fragments hurtling through space. This is the dramatic birth story of Kamo Oalewa, an asteroid that today intriguingly orbits the sun in a dance closely linked with Earth. Named after a Hawaiian creation chant, Kamo Oalewa is believed to have originated from the moon's Giordano Bruno crater, a relatively young and large impact site. The event that catapulted Kamo Oalewa towards Earth happened relatively recently in astronomical terms, somewhere between 1 million and 10 million years ago. An asteroid, possibly the size of a small mountain, collided with the moon, creating the Giordano Bruno crater. The force of this impact was so immense that it ejected debris, including what we now observe as Kamo Oalewa, into space. Some of these fragments found their way into an orbital resonance with Earth, a cosmic dance where Kamo Oalewa seems to orbit our planet while it actually orbits the sun. Researchers have turned to advanced computer models to piece together this puzzle. By simulating the trajectories and potential origins of various near-Earth objects, they have pinpointed the likely scenario that led to Kamo Oalewa's current path. These models not only support the theory of its lunar origin, but also help us understand the dynamic and sometimes violent nature of our solar system. A fragment from the moon itself, Kamo Oalewa's journey to Earth is as dramatic as it is fascinating. The International Astronomical Union recognizes only one natural satellite of Earth, our moon. So what does it take to be classified as a moon? Essentially, a moon is a natural satellite captured by a planet's gravity, orbiting it consistently. Now, let's explore where Kamawalawa fits in this celestial categorization. Kamawalawa, discovered in 2016, is quite the cosmic conundrum. It orbits the sun, yet it maintains a consistent distance from Earth creating the illusion of a moon. However, its classification is not as a moon but as a quasi-satellite. This term refers to a specific type of co-orbital object, essentially a near-Earth object, that appears to orbit a planet, but technically orbits the sun. The orbital dance of Kamo Oalewa is fascinating. It shares a resonant or synchronized orbit with Earth. This doesn't mean it orbits Earth, but rather it orbits the sun in a way that consistently keeps it near Earth. This unique orbital relationship is due to a delicate balance of gravitational forces from both the Earth and the Sun, making Kamo Oalewa's path in space quite unique. Many of you have raised intriguing questions in our previous videos, pondering whether Kamo Oalewa could indeed be considered Earth's second moon. It's a tempting thought, especially when considering its persistent proximity to our planet. However, According to strict astronomical definitions, Kamo Oalewa does not meet the criteria to be called a moon. It does not orbit Earth and is not gravitationally bound to it, which are essential characteristics of a moon. Thus, while Kamo Oalewa accompanies Earth on its journey around the Sun, it does so as a companion rather than a satellite. Its classification as a quasi-satellite remains the most accurate descriptor, adhering to the criteria set by astronomers. So, while it shares our path through space, Kamo Oalewa remains a quasi-satellite, not a moon. What's next for our companion in the cosmos? The horizon of space exploration is brimming with excitement as we look towards the Tianwen-2 mission, spearheaded by China. 
This ambitious project is not just another space mission, it's a journey to unravel the mysteries of Kamo Oalawa, our intriguing quasi-satellite. Slated for launch next year, Tianwen-2 aims to reach this asteroid and conduct in-depth studies, potentially bringing back samples to Earth. Scientists are on the edge of their seats, hoping to glean insights into Kamawalewa's composition, orbit dynamics, and its origin story. Is it really a fragment from the moon, ejected by a colossal impact that created the Giordano Bruno crater? The mission's findings could provide conclusive evidence, offering a unique perspective on how lunar events can influence near-Earth objects. Moreover, this mission could revolutionize our understanding of what constitutes a moon versus a quasi-satellite. Depending on what Tianwen-2 reveals, the International Astronomical Union might even reconsider how these celestial bodies are classified. Could Kamoalawa earn a place among the moons, or will it redefine a new category in astronomical terms? With each mission, our knowledge of space's subtle nuances continues to expand. Curious about the cosmos, there's always more to explore. If you found yourself captivated by the celestial story of Kamo Oalewa and the ongoing debate about what constitutes a moon, then show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with fellow space aficionados to keep the cosmic conversations going. Be sure to click on the notification bell as well so you never miss out on our latest interstellar insights. Each new video promises to unravel more mysteries of the universe, providing you with the most fascinating space knowledge. If you're looking to further support our channel, consider using the promotional links found in the description. Your everyday purchases through these links help us continue delivering high-quality content and exploring the vastness of space together. Your thoughts and comments enrich our journey through the stars. Join the discussion below. Before we conclude, a special thanks to our sources and supporters. A heartfelt appreciation goes out to Forbes and the diligent Jamie Carter, whose comprehensive article provided a wealth of information on Kamo Oalewa, Earth's intriguing quasi-satellite. It's insightful pieces like these that enrich our discussions and understanding of the cosmos. For those who wish to delve deeper into this fascinating subject, be sure to check the description below. There, you'll find links to the full articles complete with their detailed illustrations. These resources are invaluable for anyone looking to expand their knowledge on celestial bodies and their mysterious orbits. Additionally, other useful links and resources are listed to assist in further exploration. Whether you're a seasoned astronomer or a curious mind, these articles offer a treasure trove of information that can enhance your understanding of our universe. Thank you for joining us today on this celestial adventure. Stay curious and keep exploring.